69 miles can work on a flat earth. As the stars get closer to the horizon, they seem to slow down a little bit because of the atmospheric refraction. This is actually occurring in this video by uh, Babak Tafrashi. It's a little hard to see. Uh, what I did is I waited until some very distinctive stars appeared, these two stars right here. And I took this section of the image and I, I took it into Photoshop, increased the contrast, and then placed a line every one second where the leading star was. So here's a full clip. I've added time code so you can see that the uh, star does in fact coincide with the line at the exact one second mark. And here it is again at uh, one quarter speed. Now if you look carefully at the leading star of the two stars, when it hits a red dot or a green line, uh, it's going to be exactly the same as the, uh, the second mark on the time code. So here it is coming up on the five second. So five, six. So it's showing that these lines are spaced exactly one second apart. And as you can see, they get significantly closer together as you get closer to the horizon. So what would this look like if it was uh, actually going at a constant speed? Well, let's add some blue dots showing what would happen. Pairing the actual positions in the red dots with the extrapolated positions in the blue dots, you can see how far behind the star is lagging behind its actual geometric position, the blue dot. Here's a close of the final situation showing just how far this star's visual position is behind the actual position. So then I fell for a red herring, that because the stars slow down, it means the globe isn't true and therefore it's flat. No, it just means refraction is a thing. I didn't understand refraction at the time, so I also wanted to prove that I was right that the Earth is flat and that it's not a globe. So I kind of ran with the red herring and accepted it and basically distracted myself from that. And distracted myself from the actual point because I wanted to prove myself right when you've got all these people attacking you and backing you into the corner. You kind of want to defend yourself and prove that you're right and it was a way for me to kind of ignore the evidence and bias because let's face it, I was bias. It happens to the best of us. It happened to me. Um, but yeah, that among other evidence showed me that I was wrong and I should not have accepted the red herring. And yeah, Sean was right. So I thank Sean for putting out the Polaris challenge and almost making me go back to the globe with that until I fell for a red herring. So really I should have gone back to the globe a lot sooner but I wanted to prove that the earth was flat. I wanted to jump on a bias and a red herring to try to hold onto my flat earth belief. You know, it just shows how easy it is to be biased and how easy it is to want to be right. But in the end, the evidence the amount of evidence, because there's lots of evidence to look at all. I couldn't argue with it and gain all my cognitive dissonance and bias really helped me as well as understanding things. So yeah, I went back to the globe because it is a globe. The flat earth doesn't work. You've got no map, you've got no model. The angles to Polaris don't work. There's no way a map can work. Can't do celestial navigation. You've got opposite poles of celestial rotations and you've got geodesic surveyors. The list just goes on and on. You know, you've got the gyroscopes that measure Earth's rotation. That's Globusters found out. And mechanical gyros that do it as well as fiber optic gyros and then the gyro compass. You know, if you actually research this stuff and you actually really are looking for the truth and you really are a truth seeker then you will find the truth and stop being biased. Also, I recommend actually following Flatsuit because the amount of stuff he gets wrong if you actually research what he's saying and actually look into these different things that he claims, you will actually see how wrong he is. Do your own research, as I say. Don't believe others. Do your own research. Do it and you won't be a flat earther for long. Take care.